Hi, it's me again. Today we're going to be doing a very different video, which um, involves me talking about the years of sewing, and today we're going to be using this mannequin I've been having for many years. First, there's this um, skirt. I think I tried to make a dress out of it, but it wound up being this skirt and this was made many years ago before I even had a sewing machine. I think it's made out of uh, an old um, skirt that I was no longer wearing anyway. So it's sewed by hand at the top and then I used a ribbon to tie it on. I'm probably going to be you know, redoing that later, which is just me altering it, try to make it into something else. Or keep it the same thing, or maybe make a top to it. We'll see. We'll see. Soon to be altered. Oh, I remember this one. This dress was, uh, made with some lace. I couldn't figure out what to do with the lace, so I thought this would be a cool way to, to make this uh, dress. However, I remember when I made it that there was a bottom that went to it, like a petticoat underneath. But I think I like it better without it. I'm going to alter this as well. The thing that I didn't really like was the... I remember it was the sides. I didn't really like that. But I kind of like it now. I can see the potential in the dress. I'm gonna redo it. I really tried to get the top perfect, but I remember it just didn't work out the way I wanted it to. <laughs> okay. This was when I was getting into beading. I just, you know, I wanted to experiment with beading. It turned out okay, you know, at the time. The only thing that was upsetting was that, I mean, it's a dress, but it's not a full on dress. In the back, you, you can see it's not, it doesn't have a clasp on it. So I used to sew it onto the doll, but I would have to clip it every time I wanted to change. I'm going to remake this dress completely. This is also a dress that was made in the same way, only different instead of um, just uh, beading. I remember um, using glitter glue on the top, so it looked like sparkle. I like the method a lot and it does seem to work, but I remember I didn't like the way the skirt turned out. And this was when I didn't believe in hemming anything. And this one also doesn't really have a back, you know, the clothes. It's just, you know, I would just sew it on. I mean, it works for some dresses, but some of them don't. Well, this was made a couple of years later. You can see it's a lot better and everything is actually hemmed. The only thing I didn't really like was that sometimes these dresses would, would turn out too big and then I would have to go back and alter them. Now this one actually has a um, some velcro on the back, but I didn't like how it looked. It looked very messy. But I like the way I did the front. The front looks really nice. So, get more fabric. This is the same dress, just in a different color. Now, this one does not have a back. But this one actually fit better than the previous one you just saw. Hmm. Yeah. Now this dress is very old. I remember this was when I was really 
into the lacy fabric when I started getting to lace and plus I tried beading on this one too tried the string bead method it worked but of course back then I really didn't use the same color thread as you can see I actually do have velcro on the back of this one and but this dress to be as old as it is I'm surprised that it held up it's, it's held up really well very fluffy yeah I remember I don't know why I chose purple bread now this one was made uh, not too long ago I think I made this from a pattern this was when I really learned how to layer fabrics to get a different effect uh, it was purple lace on top of a white fabric and it gave that look I really uh, like the way I did the train in the back. That was my favorite part of this dress when I was making it. And this one actually has a clasp too, but the train is very long. Now this dress was made very recently. We're talking about a month ago. And I don't know if you can tell, but there are a lot of things that I've learned along the way. As you can see, I used matching thread. I've learned how to do beading differently. I learned how to layer fabrics and um, trim. Now, I really like. At first, I didn't really like it, but when you know you stress about a project for so long and you then you come back to it, I mean, you work out what what's wrong with it and what you don't like about it. Yeah, I really need to get different color velcro. That way I can have, you know, white and black. Yeah, I really like this dress. I like the trim. I think that's the trim from AliExpress. Very good deal. I got a lot of it. Well, I'm going to be making more dresses with that trim. And as you can see, I didn't say anything, but I switched, switched mannequin. But anyways, this dress took a long time. I think this dress took two days. And not because it was a difficult pattern, but just for the beading and the sequins. Sewing on the sequins and the beads took a long time. And then I went all the way around the hem of the dress with the beads and the sequins, and that took hours. Mm -hmm. Hours. But well worth it. It's a plain dress, it's a high-low dress, and that one actually has a snap in the back instead of um, Velcro. I don't know if I like snaps better than Velcro. I, one while I was trying hook and eyes, but I don't know. I like this dress too. This dress, I made the pattern for this one. Oh, I remember her. I wasn't a big fan of the ruffles on this uh, jumper dress because I sewed the ruffles on the outside and we just switch. This one is actually one of my favorite dresses. She's actually a character in a story that I'm writing. And this is one of her dresses. This dress took days to make as well. All about those ribbons and the bows and everything is sewed on. I had some bows left over so I put them in her hair. This dress took a long time. I don't know, the ruffles took a long time at the bottom of the dress to sew on and then sew on to the dress. It was, it was back and forth. It took a long time for that to even be a thing. Especially the puff sleeves. I was so worried about those. That they I thought they wouldn't turn out right, but they did. And you've all seen this shirt before. Just showing you the difference of, you know, after years of practicing. See that one even has a you know a, a back. And as you can see, when I flip it over has a little bow in the front, and this is the skirt with the elastic in it. 
and you see it's hemmed, it's, you know, it's finished, it's stretchy, you know, it took a long time, you know, it takes practice, you know, to understand that these things really make the garment. Everything's hemmed, and everything's pretty neat. Not perfect, but neat. And this dress took, I think, well, I want to say six to seven hours to make. And all of these trims, I got these from AliExpress, and the gold trim is from Walmart. The fabric is even from AliExpress. And this is a two layer dress, which means the top is separate from the bottom. And I'll show you here in a minute. But all of this is hand sewn i didn't even put this on the sewing machine and i had the opportunity to oh these are some paper shoes i made to go with the dress i need to get some more fabric to make stockings but yeah that's a later project yeah it took a long time I don't know what took longer. You know what? This dress uh, actually does not have a pattern. I didn't make a pattern for this one. But it took forever to make. I've got the dress off now. You can see that um, it's two parts. That's the top. And the back, you know, has Velcro. Got to get white ones. It has Velcro. And that's the skirt over there. So what I do is when I'm putting the dress on, I, uh, you know, put the skirt on first and then I put the uh, top on. And then it's, you know, it looks like it's one dress and it's just, you know, it's a layered dress. And yeah. All of those trims are from AliExpress. Well, you get the idea of what, what I'm trying to say. And this is the last dress that you're going to be seeing. It's a dress I made out of ribbons a long time ago when I was getting into sewing. And this one also doesn't have a back. Don't know what it was about me and backs. But thanks for watching.